10 smallest electronics that actually work. This video is not fake tiny toy models of things. These are actually real electronics that really function and most of them you can actually buy for pretty cheap too. Make sure you're liked and subscribed with the bell on so you can see every daily upload. And let's get right into this list. At number 10, we have the world's smallest color TV. Yes, this is an actual color TV that you can really watch. This color TV is about half the size of a US postage stamp. You can see what it looks like with someone holding it. Now you might be thinking, who would want something like this? You can't even see it. Aha, there's a life hack you don't know about. You can put this tiny TV onto a pair of glasses. That's how small this TV is. You could watch TV on your glasses. And I see some of you that are commenting that you watch these videos while you're in class. I'm not saying you should watch videos during class at all, but I imagine that's probably mostly what this is used for. It used to be available for purchase on Amazon, but I tried looking it up this morning and I could not find it anywhere on Amazon. There's probably other places you could buy it online, but this is a real fully functioning TV. Coming in at number nine on my list, the world's smallest tower computer. As you can see, it's about the size of an apple. No pun intended. This tiny little PC comes equipped with one USB port, a VGA slot for your computer monitor, which you can actually see if I make it a little bit bigger. And it also has an auxiliary output for headphones or speakers. It does actually work but it doesn't do much. It only has a 300 megahertz processor, but it does have a whole gigabyte of flash memory and 64 megabytes of SD RAM. I don't think I'd be able to edit a whole YouTube video on this thing, not even close actually, but it could be useful if you didn't have a laptop and were traveling and needed to like check your email or something, you could use this. So yeah, pretty weird. What do you think? Would this be useful or no? I mean, it's a lot smaller than a laptop. At number eight, we have the world's smallest Game Boy. This isn't actually a Nintendo brand Game Boy, but it is modeled after the Game Boy. It has two buttons, start, select, and a D-pad, just like the original Nintendo Game Boy. And it's about the size of a key fob for your car, which means it would fit in your pocket pretty easily. It's called the Pocket Sprite. And it's a game system that was crowdfunded and it includes everything you need to play real video games like RAM, Wi-Fi, a battery. Not bad considering it's only about two inches tall. At number seven, we have the world's smallest functioning robot. The idea of tiny robots, nanobots or microbots or whatever you want to call them is nothing new, but this is by far the smallest one. It's about as thick as your average beard hair. Not like your personal beard hair, but like the average hair of a beard. Here's a picture of this microbot on a penny, just for reference. Very small, very tiny. This is the type of stuff that could really help in the health field. I'm not sure of all the applications, what they're using, things like this, if they're even using them at all yet. But I know this technology is developing and it's pretty cool. Number six is definitely the biggest item on our list, but it's still pretty cool, all things considered. It's the world's smallest personal helicopter. Yes, this looks pretty big for a tiny item, but you have to consider how big helicopters are. They're freaking huge. This thing is powered by four engines, 125 cc. It has a top speed of 59 miles per hour and a flight time of 30 minutes. I wonder how loud it is. Man, it'd be cool to have my own personal helicopter. Can you imagine? Number five on my list is the world's smallest flip phone. This is not a touch screen. It's not a smartphone, so it does not count. So I considered it a different category. Even though this isn't a smartphone, it actually has a lot of features. It has a card slot. You can charge it via USB, it has a microphone and speaker and a functioning keyboard. That is a lot of features for a tiny phone that fits in the palm of your hand. It also has a loop on it so that you can put it on your keychain. And if you decide to put it on your keychain, this is what it would look like. In case you're not sure what this picture is, it is a set of keys, a fingernail clipper, and the tiny phone on top of a normal smartphone. So that's how small this phone actually is compared to the other things in your pocket. So small, it's smaller than your car key. And best of all, you can buy it on the Wish app for only $33, not sponsored. Man, I should figure out how to get a commission on some of these weird products. If you do buy any of this stuff, just let me know if it actually works or not. Number four, we have the world's smallest combustion engine. This is actually a real combustion engine that works, that fits on your fingernail. This tiny butane powered combustion engine seemed sensational when it first came out as a battery replacement. But people quickly stopped talking about it when its creator started talking about using it as a pacemaker like as in in people's hearts like as in putting a 
combustion engine that emits carbon inside a human heart. That, yeah, you don't want that. It's It'd be really, really, really bad for you. So, number three, the world's smallest 35 millimeter camera. Now keep in mind, this is not a digital camera. This is a real camera, real as in it uses film, like real film. We can see the tiny picture they included where it shows how small this camera is compared to a roll of film. It's pretty small. It was actually made in 1962, but to this day, it is still one of the smallest film cameras in existence. I mean, it can't get much smaller than it already is because you have to put a roll of film in it. So most cameras are digital now. So it's bigger than digital cameras, but still impressive, especially for being made in the 1960s. And number two, we have the world's smallest laptop computer. The screen size is just one inch and its creator, whose name is Paul, named this thing the Think Tiny because he designed it to be a smaller version of IBM's ThinkPad. The Think Tiny has a 300 mAh battery, which can be charged through a plug. There is a track point cursor in the middle of the keyboard. There it is. You see it? That blue dot. It has a seven row keyboard, which was made from a 3D printer and has a 128 by 64 pixel OLED display. Wow, that's tiny. You definitely will not be watching anything in HD on this thing. And the number one tiny electronic thing that actually works, at least on my list, you probably know because it's in the thumbnail, is the world's tiniest smartphone. Now, if my information is incorrect, please leave a comment and let me know. This might not be the smallest. There were several phones that claimed to be the world's smallest phone. My criteria for this was that it had to be a smartphone with a touchscreen because we already did the world's smallest flip phone. This tiny phone is modeled after the iPhone 6, but it's not actually an iPhone. This is an Android phone. It just looks like a tiny iPhone. You can buy it on Amazon for just $72, apparently. I, I didn't look for this one. I should have. If unlocked, this cell phone will work with GSM carriers like AT&T, T-Mobile, as well as GSM SIM cards, H20 Straight Talk, and some prepaid carriers. But it will not work with CDMA carriers, which would be Sprint, Verizon, Boost, or Virgin. Will not work with those. This little phone comes with Android 5.1. It is only 3G, which is unfortunate. But other than that, it has all the functions of any other Android smartphone, including Bluetooth, which I imagine is probably the biggest seller. So you could, you know, keep it in your pocket if you just want to use it to listen to music or something. There's actually a lot of smartphones around this size. They all claim to be the world's smallest. I just picked one that seemed to be the most readily available that you can actually buy on Amazon and works with some of the cell phone carriers. Maybe they all do. I'm not sure. All right. That was my top 10 list for tiny gadgets that actually work. Which one was your favorite? And if you would have made the list, which one would you have put as number one? The cell phone was toss up. It was hard for me to choose between the cell phone and the laptop because they were both pretty cool. Also, let me know what you thought about this type of video. I tried something different. Let me know. Did you like it? Not like it? Any tips? I upload every day, so I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you then. Bye. All right, so it's like three in the morning. I'm working on this song. Do you want to hear a sample? Rockin them stockings, dogs red rocket. Grew up on the farm, all the animals fucking. Stop it. Don't you know when to stop talking? No, I really don't because I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm dumb. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. Hi. That's the new thing. I haven't bought the beat yet. 3 a.m. I'm going to bed now. Okay, I kept going. It's all, it's 3:45 in the morning now. I couldn't stop. I kept I kept getting lyrics for the song. So you know you can't just stop and you have them coming to you. So I got it all out. I might have the whole song written now. Yeah, it's it's time for bed for sure. Okay, it's 4:30. But you see that demo number six. Okay, I've been working on the same song. So now I'm actually really going to bed as soon as this. Hot pocket number three is done. Oh, it's done. Cool, I can go to bed now. Wanna hear dad's new song?